Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great, all you beautiful people. Please check out the description box. As always, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. There you go, boom. So last video we talked about the uh, pre-compiled headers. Now if you're having lots of problems with this, just go back to the old style for now and try to learn how to, to get the pre-compiled header to work for you. Uh, especially on Linux and code blocks. Uh, if you can't, I please just tell me in the video or in the uh, on Discord. Just go join Discord. Tell me there. We'll, we'll discuss it. We got a lot of people there working on all platforms. So, um, uh, so yeah, we could we could just talk there. But anyway, let's get into trying to get a little tile map going. Now, let me tell you something. If you have a large tile map like this, this is huge. Okay, and you run it in debug, it's probably not really going to work because allocating this much memory in debug uh, is, is really hard because C++ and the compiler does a lot of things here um, while allocating to keep track of the memory, basically. Uh, so if you run it in release, it will work, but otherwise it's going to be pretty hard. So what we're going to do, we're going to have it in debug just for now, and I'm going to I'm gonna shorten this down a little bit. I'm going to say maybe a hundred times a hundred and the layers is going to be one for now and we're not going to have a lot of that and also i'm going to add this so you do this map dot resize this max size x so we're pretty much going to resize the vector before we start pushing stuff into it otherwise it has to resize itself every time it uh it uh pushes something back so this is going to kind of preset the size of the map for us so you do that on all of these okay um, and once that's done, you'll probably get the tile map going right here. And this is going to be a very, very simple. This is not how we're going to do the tile map at all. Uh, basically because we're going to get into, uh, to customizing it a lot more later. With that, I mean, we're going to have a nice list here of stuff where you can create a map just like you want it, load a map, do all kinds of stuff with the map. Okay. Um, close all but this. There you go. So we got the tile map.h. Um, all that stuff. Good, good. Very nice, very nice. Uh, all I want to do is I want to actually create a tile. Very, very, very simple. Very simple tile. And the way that's going to have what's going to happen is that under protected, I'm pretty much going to create a SF rectangle shape. Shape. Just call it or, or tile. I guess, or shape, uh, I don't know what makes more sense. Let's just call it shape. It doesn't really matter. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, this shape.set, um, let's see in the tile actually here, float grid size F, grid size F for float. Um, we're gonna create it using a grid size uh, set size sf vector 2f and then we're just going to use this grid size f grid size f okay so once you do that you'll have a a rectangle shape basically this shape dot set fill color whatever sf color you choose all right i'm gonna have green because you see green pretty well so you choose whatever you want here uh, also, we're going to have a float X, float Y, and then the grid size. So copy those in here. Um, like this tile map, uh, tile here. Float X, float Y. All right. So this is whatever it is. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's cool. This is going to complain now. All right. This is going to complain. That is because we don't have... Um, Let's see that we don't have a real positioning for it uh, or any parameters, but we do have a grid size U and I'm also going to have a grid size F. So float grid size F like this. And then we're going to go into tilemap.cpp and we're going to say this grid size F equals 50.f. And we're actually going to static cast unsigned uh, unsigned this grid size f all right so that's grid size u basically good good stuff 
um, this grid size F and then the position. Now, um, we do have the X and the Y. All right. So we're just going to say X multiply by. Now, this isn't casted, so it's not going to be that, that nice. We're going to actually be using an integer multiplying it with a float. So that's going to be a warning for us. Not good. Not good at all. But just for testing purposes is what we're going to do. So this is going to be Y. Uh, and this is basically going to gonna set our positions in a grid type manner. All right. And there you go. So that's going to be that's going to prove pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, obviously, we want a void update function with a const. We're just going to keep it empty, actually. Uh, void render. Um, SF render target reference target. All right. Uh, define both of these. Beautiful, beautiful functions. All right. Uh, in tile map here. Oh, wait, what? Are you serious? Okay, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to define those, cut those out, put those in the H file because I'm dumb. Functions. There you go. So you got those in the H file. And we're going to do this. So now we want to pretty much render everything, right? We want to render everything, everything. So we're going to use the most optimized for loops. Reference auto reference I. Uh, X. Um, this. Are you serious? What was the problem, man? What was the problem? Tile map. I did define those. Oh, sorry about that. Tile map and tile map. Uh, and why you watch my videos again? I don't know. This um, map. Okay, so that's the inner for loop. Um, and then we're going to have a or outer for loop. Then we're going to have an out, uh, inner for loop. Why? This, this, uh, no, just say X like that because X is an array in itself. All right, so we'll go through all the Y's and the X <laughs> and then another for loop for oops, oops, for all of the beautiful layers that we're going to have. And we're just going to call that Z. Z and we're going to go through Y and that is going to give us the tile. So each tile needs to have a render function as well. Um, function. Func functions and in tile in the public part functions void update void render sf render uh, target reference target okay once you do that uh, you go into tile no you define these in the cpp file whoops Wait, I just pressed a cool little button here and it control dash. Oh, OK. I didn't know that was possible. I just kind of kind of did that by mistake. OK, I did control and then the dash or whatever you want to call it, the line, the straight line. So control line next to the period button next to the right shift. And that kind of just uh, put me into the CPP file. Can you kind of switch? OK, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I should, probably shouldn't be playing around with that uh, anyway target dot draw this shape boom boom good shit so now we can draw each tile and in here i'm just going to do a z dot render target and that's going to render all of my tiles and this isn't how we're going to do it later we're going to have a very cold way of rendering so that means that we're not going to render anything that is outside of the grid window grid positions. OK, otherwise we're going to have a map with 5000, 5000. We can't be rendering all that. We're just going to be rendering something uh, around maybe 50 times 50 tiles all the time. And everything else will be completely not 
touched within the for loops. And that's the problems in big games. Sometimes you, you don't know any technique for kind of removing any unnecessary tiles from your calculations. So you have for loops going through everything. And then you have a if statement in there. If it is inside the screen, the render, that doesn't help because the for loop is still going to be going through everything. Now we're going to make our for loops so they start at the wherever the window position is on in the world, the camera position. They start from there to the end of the window, window's width and height. So we're only going to render all that stuff in there. Uh, and that's, and that's going to be nice. So there you go. Now we have our tile map pretty much. Uh, if we go into our game state really quickly, just to try this out, game state .cpp, uh, I'm going to include, um, or should I include that in the H file, game state .h, uh, include tile map .h. We're just going to create a little test tile map here. Tile, actually, I want to rename that i'll do that in the next video it doesn't really matter map um do that it will create a little map for me go into the game state cpp uh at the very end wherever the render is we'll render the player we're going to this map dot render target okay so now we're going to try this out it's a very small map so it doesn't really matter um am i recording yes i am okay good shit good shit so crash that's great that's great news uh, no appropriate default constructor available i know that uh that is because it's copying or what wait let me see um Let's see, let's see what the issue was. Warning. No, error here. Tile map CPP. Okay, so we are creating tiles, pushing back tiles. Uh, no, we don't need a default constructor, honestly, we don't. We do not need those. No need for that, no need for that. Tile.cpp. Um, but if it wants one, we'll give it one. Actually, we'll just do, we'll just try it tile and we'll define that as a default constructor, uh, tile, uh, and doesn't really need anything in there. It's just empty default constructor. Let's see if that helps tile map generating code. Yeah, that did help. So we're going to use that as a uh, pointer. So we don't need that stuff. Okay. New game. All the tiles are right there. And see how it's lagging because, yeah, obviously we're rendering 100 times 100 tiles. We're going through all of them. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So that didn't work really like I wanted to. Uh, that is because, you know why that didn't work? Because, because if I go into tile.cpp, we never set the position. So uh, this shape.setPosition x, y. And if we make the tile map a little smaller so it doesn't lag, let's make it 10 times 10. Still gonna be a little laggy. I probably think it will. But 10 times 10 is a lot smaller than 100. So there you go, that's our tile map. Imagine this being grass, you're walking around on grass and shit. So at least that, that works, at least that works, right? Uh, so that's a very simple test of the tile map. Now, we're gonna keep that in the game state for now because we're going to be doing some testing um, but what I'm going to do is I got to remove just comment out the map render okay because we don't want to render it what we want to do is we want to try a thousand a thousand before we end the video which I got to do now uh, put it to release and just run it at a thousand a thousand I want to see how long it takes for that to actually actually run look how fast the compilation is this, this is nice I like that it's awesome takes a few seconds but it's, it's really nice new game okay you let it load okay yeah I know, thousand thousand pretty fast pretty fast man pretty fast i like that okay cool it took a little while for it to remove everything but you know it did work um just keep the game the render you know removed like that 
and then we'll add the view to the game the engine a camera to the engine in the coming videos and we'll go from there but thank you for watching playing around with me here take care drop a like subscribe if you like the content also check out the description box hopefully i'll see you on discord and you can you can hang out with me there and all the other nice beautiful people so thank you so much take care i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye